Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gap Trading. Unleash your trading instinct. We're Gap Trading NVIDIA. We've missed a couple of days, but we're back on track. So before we get started in the chart, let's take a look at our guidelines. This is the uh, our rules that we follow. We definitely need rules and frameworks if you're going to trade. It's difficult. You need to be consistent. And how do you be consistent? You, you, you develop a proving strategy. And that's what we are here to do. So when we're doing gap trading, we look for institutions. That's why a participation. That's why we uh, chose NVIDIA. We know that big banks and hedge funds are buying these stock, which allows you to trade predictable patterns and price points. The deal, the deal is the gap. So either the closing price or the opening price of the gap. It's that white space in the middle. We were going to take a look at that. And risk management, we look to risk from 0.5 to 1.5% per trade maximum. And we determine that by the 5, 15 minute, one hour uh, candle closes above a specific price point. So let's jump into that to the chart and let's take a look at, um, you know, a gap scenario that actually did occur. So let's go take a look at that right now. There we go. Here is NVIDIA uh, on the chart on the docket. And here on August 4th, we had a gap up and we just traded sideways. Normally that's a bullish signal, but on August uh, 6th, we actually gapped down, which tends to be uh, a bearish signal. Uh, and we look to short the, uh, the low or the high of this candle. So you have two points here. Uh, this would be your range that you would short it. I typically like to just, uh, as soon as it fills this empty space is where I would, I would short it. So, and as per our fundamentals, we use half and whole numbers uh, most of the time. So we would have got in at 205.50 um, as it would come up into this area here. And we would use a 206.37 and any, any candles on the five. So if we go to the five minute chart or 15 minute chart, so any on these two charts, if we start closing candles above uh, 206 $206.50. If we start closing above that, we know that we would uh, exit. So we, we're, we know what our risk is. Our reward is the uh, filling of this gap here at 202.75. And there you have roughly uh, you know $2.75, which is basically your 1%. So you would have gotten out here. So we would have short it at you know the 2 $2.50, definitely multiple opportunities here. We knew what our risk was. We did get it trade down. And because this is the gap trading strategy, we also buy at the at any closing or opening price of the gap. So here you have, uh, that's why we draw this line. And then this has, if you go back to my other videos, this line has been drawn there for some time. And this would have been a buying opportunity. Um, you didn't quite get the one percent. Um, you would have got it maybe the next day at two o five, but this would have been another trade, and you would have ended the trade in profit. Like if you close, part of the rules is closing your position at the end of the day, uh, and you would have been in profit because you would have got in at two o five seventy three. So you would have had a dollar there, a dollar to two dollars of profit that you would have been able to take out during the day. And, and, and that's a gap trading um, in a nutshell. So let's take a look at the next day. Again, we came hard and fast in that same area, right? And what it does, normally the second time is not as strong, but you could see that 202.76 is an important area because it's literally the close and opening of this candle and the opening of this candle. So you see that there is some... Uh, support there where you have this v-shaped recovery so that would have been another uh, area to purchase obviously the, the closing price of this candle is important if we start closing uh on an hourly basis below 202.76 we could be looking at shorting this again but again the overall direction of this market is bullish so if you're looking for a longer term uh you do want to hold your buy and hold stocks, but if you're looking to day trade and you're looking for a strategy, this works very well. You need to get in and get out and close your positions, you know, obviously at the end of the day to stay liquid. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we'll see you tomorrow.